in general, take a guy like Trumbo here, Mark. He's a hot, he's a home run hitter. He's a power guy. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let them get away with a little bit more than the average hitter that you watch every day? Yeah, because they're, they're, that's what they do. You know, um, their confidence level is based on, you know, when they're in the, bat, the batter's box to, to feel their swing, you know, um, their A swing, I call it. And, um, you know, a lot of times the, those guys are going to be the ones that hit the ball in the ballpark a little bit more than the others. The guys you want to tone down are the guys that are in the Caleb Josephs and, uh, you know, uh, Ryan Flaherty's and, and people like that, that you know that, you know, we need them to be successful by just, you know, adding more to the lineup and turning that lineup over to the top of the order. Uh, Joey Rickard, guys like that um, are important to just work the whole field, use the whole field uh, to their advantage. There's some veteran guys that, you know, they've had success because of the way they've gone about it, and you really can't change that. But for the other guys, you try to really kind of get them into, you know, being a part of that group and not trying to be that guy. You know, too many young players, a lot of times they see the power that we have and they want to fit in by hitting for power, and that's really the wrong way to go about it. Yeah, to take a pitch, you'll see a guy like Mark Trumbo and, of course, Chris Davis and guys that have a lot of power. They'll take a pitch on the outside corner and pull it into the seats in left field, and you just kind of have to go look the other way and say that's what he's here for. Yeah, well, and that's the thing is, is that, you know, know who you are. You know, the biggest thing about being successful in the big leagues, as you know, is know yourself. And um, once you know yourself as a hitter, you got to stick with that. A guy like Caleb and Joey Rickard, Flaherty, and some of these guys, you know, they, they can't get caught up in the mode of taking their BPs a little bit like some of the other guys. So, um, you know, most of the guys have been pretty good uh, uh, about doing it. And you just kind of remind them when they get out of their out of their way and you know they they get out of themselves you hey get back to what you do well yeah you know I've seen a lot of guys in the big leagues over the last couple of years from all different clubs National League American League that got hitters like Mancini that stand tall in the best. do you have a preference uh, as to guys that you really like a little bit more or a little easier to teach the stand tall guys or the crouch down guys well for, I, I think it's a, a comfort level for each hitter but you know for me, I try to simplify things as much as I can. I think the guys, when guys are taller, they're a little bit more relaxed. They're not bent over tight. Um, they have a tendency to come out of their swing when they're bent over early um, in their stance or down in their legs too much, spring out of their legs, so to speak. I want to be have a hitter to be able to be nice and relaxed, and when he gets into a hitting position, to be able to go down into the ball rather than coming up and out of the ball. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, guys that I see stand comfortable in the box, a little bit more upright with their spine alignment being erect, uh, I think is a better, better way to hit. Something that stands out right away for me with Austin Hayes, I haven't seen a guy all season come to, come to home plate that doesn't wear batting gloves. You know, I never wore batting gloves. That was old school, but that was big in my day, too. We didn't have all that kind of equipment to work with. But it's nice to see a guy yeah. who just gets a better feel for the bat that way. Yeah, and he's got in his own routine when in the box you see him. He's got, you know, it's the old school way. You know, you, you come in there, no batting gloves. He's, he get, grabs some dirt after every pitch, yeah. rubs it together, gets himself kind of prepped for the next pitch. Uh, it's an old old school method and it's refreshing because uh, you don't see that much anymore. I, very rarely do you see a guy with no batting gloves and whenever uh, you see that it's unique and, and it tells you a little bit something about him too. It's like, you know, he wants to feel that bat in his hands and, and um, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to see, from, especially from a young kid. It's, you know, first year out of college, uh, first for, for full season in the minor leagues.